Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So guess what Anova came out with? The SD35, a 3.5 inch tablet that is small and versatile, but it packs a punch. Now let's go ahead and check out what comes inside this box and how it's gonna help me with identifying these codes that are on the RDX. Let's see. Oh, that is so beautiful and it's my favorite color blue. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's super durable too. Let's see. Okay, manual look, it's always a must. Nice. And I love how the cord is long because I know that I like to use this at work. So I need a long cord to at least be outside of a customer's car while I'm diagnosing their vehicle. Go ahead and connect this. Yeah, super useful. There we go. Yeah, this is very lightweight. I like how it has this grip case added to it oh surprisingly there are no dtc codes you guys the rdx has been very unpredictable so i'm not sure how long it's going to stay like that for but right over here when we click on the home screen you guys might think that this is touch screen and i was tempted but it is not but we do have all our power buttons here that control all of these functions these are the same functions that are on the 5610 main three that we would probably use are these three up here this one will tell us the codes this one over here will identify and pretty much do an all system scan so it can tell you any pre-existing codes on any other parts of the vehicle right over here on workshop tools this will give you all of the special reset procedures or the relearn procedures or additional tests that you can do right over here on the bottom this is actually nice i'll show you guys the code that did pop up before which i was a little concerned the check engine light went away on its own as well so right over here in the tool library we're gonna go to right here where it says DTC library. Click on that. All right. So we're gonna go to four two. There we go. So some type of issue with a catalytic converter or maybe the oxygen sensors. Well, you could still connect it to your computer. It does have a USB-C right there up on top. And then yes, you can definitely still pair this with repair solutions too. So let's actually give that a try. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna pair it to my phone. Connect scan tool right there. We are gonna connect it. It says by Bluetooth if it can find the device. All right, let's give you guys a more definite view. Yeah, and it does take a couple minutes. There we go. Did so in that way. It can do a better pair and there we go it's paired so now officially it will transfer any data that i have collected of the rdx from the sd35 over to my uh, repair solutions 2 app so it keeps everything that i need to know right in a matter of seconds if i want to like pull up my phone and i wasn't sure of like a code that i have diagnosed or if i need to see some live data or anything else it will show it here it will also show you recommended maintenance for it so let's see it is asking for the retailer so we're gonna put innova got it from them directly Okay, and then uh, mileage, huh, that's a really good question, let's see. Mm. Okay, it's gonna ask for the mileage. And... One ninety-seven eight hundred one. One ninety-seven eight hundred one. there we go. I'm gonna generate the report. done nice yeah i don't know why that code would just pop up like that i don't know if the rdx is just trying to tell me like hey you're gonna have catalytic converter issues soon and i really hope that is not the case but the only thing that i can really do right now guys is we're gonna go out on a drive we're gonna run live data and we're gonna let it do its thing we're gonna check back on the percentages and just make sure that everything looks fine there 
directly it won't be the cause for the p0420 code to pop up but sometimes it can cause it indirectly and who knows i have not been underneath an rdx since the last repairs so we'll go from there let's go for that drive sent over all of the information to the repair solutions 2 app and right over here in the live data category i can click which percentages and i'm also going to click on the catalytic converter temperature sensor because i'm curious to know how that is running although it should be fine there was no codes for that but it would be nice to just check that as well so now that we are looking at it shows you a time graph so i let this run for nine minutes and 22 seconds and then it gives you an overall reference of what we're about to see on a live replay so when we go on that live replay it will show us the entire nine minutes and 22 seconds of how these were doing based off the voltage based off a minimum and a maximum on the percentage and then the Fahrenheit for that temperature sensor, which everything looks fine. There is nothing that if we like speed it up a bit, let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. We're going to press play. There we go. That's at 136. Everything looks fine. I'm literally getting the same exact reading as when I first got the RDX and I ran live data. It's the same exact thing. There's nothing off, there's nothing different. So now I know that the oxygen sensors are okay. And it is not a reason or an indirect reason why this P0420 code is popping up on the RDX. But I'm glad that you guys are able to see the official unboxing video, which I actually did that at the Innova Corporation when I went over there to do my first interview, which it was pretty cool. But if you guys have any more questions, comments, or concerns regarding the SD35, please comment them down below and I will do my best to answer them accordingly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and stay tuned for more. Bye.